Hi Taurus, hi Cross Rogers also. Um, this is uh, gonna be a reading, a love reading of course, just love um, for Taurus. We're gonna get the energy for Taurus in love, but a lot of times in readings you just get what's going on, you get the situation, oh it's bad, or it's good, whatever. But you never really get advice. So with this deck we'll get the situation was going on with Taurus and then with this deck we'll get advice how Taurus should move how Taurus should what Taurus should do the advice okay let's go oh all right that's might be the situation some of you dealing with a Capricorn or dealing with someone who's toxic a toxic situation a codependent situation someone who works out the lower vibration this could be you Taurus this could be someone around you um, we'll put those back if they come back out then we know it's uh, it was meant to come out uh, maybe in a third party situation you may just be in something that no longer serves you yet yeah, this is the love affair the business deal that's just not favorable this is the love affair someone's getting more attention than the other uh, could be dealing with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus like yourself yet yeah, someone's sneaking around they're sneaky they're Okay, I just heard trifling. Um, they they could be lying. They they take only no, they'll take it all. But they 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 don't care so much. The care level is so low with them that they'll just take what they can take. As you see, this person left behind. Uh, two swords. Sometimes this is also a person sneaking around, being a liar, being a cheat, and forgetting about the true relationship that they have with someone. The two swords, the the truth and clarity that they have in a relationship, just taking all that they can take out of um, maybe dealing with more than one person, uh, not caring about the situation that they established with that first person will say could be a uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius six of sword yeah um so it's reducing it looks like Taurus is getting out of this whoa okay yeah Taurus is definitely getting out of this letting this situation in you've learned your lesson we have the devil and the will of fortune it was toxic it is karmic and it looks like you've learned your lesson here You've been through the ringer, through the the run of a mill with this person. They have taken you in and out. They may have even drained you or tried to drain you financially here. You're finding peace by moving away from this, this person or this situation, this job, whatever. But this is love. Um, you're letting it in. You could be dealing with a Scorpio uh, or another fixed sign like yourself. Uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, uh, Leo, Taurus. Yeah, you're you're walking away. Two of Swords. Um, you you're now protecting yourself by making this decision. Uh, you feel like okay, yeah, there's a part of of this whole dynamic that I don't know, but I don't even care at this point because it's way too many problems, way too much. Um, give, 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 and this person takes, 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 and I need to find balance. We got two sixes here. I need to find balance. You may have even found out the truth of about someone or their real true nature in June. Um, like I said, someone could try to could be trying to or have drained you financially. Um, you just gave and gave either energetically, love wise. Yeah, and then the six of yeah, you're definitely six 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 getting out of that devil energy getting out of um you're finding out peace and balance here getting out of that so that's the situation having strength and doing that could be dealing with the leo um yeah having strength and and dealing with this and moving away from and and just saying you know what i'm done i've learned my lesson i've been burned too many times with you 
I will not deal with this anymore. If I do, then I'm the bigger fool. And I don't want to be that. And I need to find peace. I'm not at peace. I'm. You're probably very uh, not such a good person to be around right now. Or you're trying to maintain yourself. But it's, you know, it's not good for you right now. Let's see what the advice is here. What is the advice for Taurus? Strictly advice for Taurus. Five of Swords. Um, stand your ground. Sometimes the Five of Swords, of, of course, it comes out when someone is in heavy argument with a person. Um, it comes out when there's interference. Sometimes it comes out and it says, hey, this is the time in your life where you need to stand up for yourself. Do that verbal battle. Speak your truth. Yes, no one wins in this situation because you had to get very truthful with this person, but you also stood up for yourself and you made somebody back down. You're not being a doormat anymore. You cannot walk all over me. So that's the advice. If you've been quiet, it's time to be loud. It's time to say something. Ace of, of Wands, have the motivation to um, move away from dealing with this person and this heavy argument and knowing that they're cheat they're liar they're whatever it can drain you mentally and emotionally energetically find motivation either in working out um, doing things for yourself a creative outlet right make a final decision about this with the judgment card um, the universe is saying hey be final be definite you've been here before what are you going to do? Are you getting off the hamster wheel or are you staying on it? Uh, the hermit card. Nice. Go within and keep things to yourself. Look at past experience in dealing with this person, this situation. How did you how did you act or how did you react? You don't want to do that because doing the same thing over and over again is insanity. It's the hamster wheel going around and around in that circle. Are you getting off the hamster wheel by way of self-reflection? saying oh no I will not do what I did last year I'll let you come back I'll let you apologize we went out uh, for dinner uh, we had makeup sex or whatever but nothing changed it's asking you to be self reflective make a final decision at the bottom of the deck we have the knight of wands because this is a person who is could be dealing with a fire sign uh, Aries Sagittarius Leo Gemini Libra Aquarius Virgo is here um, <clears throat> you're dealing with a person who is in and out, who is passionate about what they're passionate about today. Tomorrow is a whole nother story. Um, at times they can mean well, uh, they could be even a reliable friend at times, but this is not, this is not someone you put all your eggs in the basket with, you know? okay so that's your advice and also the advice can be move quickly haste, hastily on a situation if the if the opportunity is there whatever it may be move on it uh put some time and effort into yourself into your own passions a healthy level of selfishness because this guy this girl definitely um practice practices a healthy level of selfishness okay all right, Taurus, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. I hope that this gave you some clarity uh, about your situation, how to reach me. All of that information is below. The fastest way is to go over to my website, book a reading there. Um, the most updated readings are there. Um, choose to pay through PayPal. It's just best. Uh, yeah, remember Taurus to stay in prayer. When in doubt, pray. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. I'll see you in August.